Now, also on contrast, ads and content. So there's kind of two ways to make ads work. Um, you can blend in or you can stand out. This is why in email marketing, this is my actually one of my Klaviyo accounts, I always have an email template that looks like this, and I use it almost exclusively. I call it the Gmail lookalike, super signatures, this thing I got from the internet marketing part, person, this is not really that important. The Gmail lookalike is the important part. I try to make my marketing email, because it comes from me. So if you're sending an email from your brand, this may not work as well, but if you use your, yourself, your name, like it's coming from a real person, I want that to look and feel like an email that's like a Gmail email. So when I design that email template, I'll sit there with a Gmail email open, I'll sit there with Klaviyo open, I'm like, how do I make this look as similar as possible? Um, and so I push the unsubscribe down a little bit, nothing excessive, I still want people to be unsubscribe because I don't want to have email deliverability issues, but I don't want an unsubscribe button that's like blinking in orange, like staring at them in their face, because that doesn't look like a normal email. So it's still there, you can still access it, no problem, but more importantly, I make the formatting of the font as close as possible to Gmail. So this is blending in. So use it in email marketing all the time. The other way that we're gonna spend more, talk, more time talking about is standing out. Two principles. If you can blend in and make it feel like a native ad, um, that works fine. Um, but if you can also make it stand out, that's good too. What you don't wanna do is get caught somewhere in the middle where it's just boring. This is Snoop Dogg. <laughs> in case you didn't know. <laughs> so back in the day, obviously very popular rapper, everyone knows who Snoop Dogg is. If you wanted to be a popular rapper today, what should you do to stand out? I know a guy who figured it out. This is not an ethical guy. This is not a guy we want life lessons from, but he's done well in marketing. He went from nothing to like top of the charts. Today's rapper also went to jail after for things we don't need to talk about, <laughs> but it's this guy. <laughs> if you want to be a rapper in the 90s, you look like this. If you want to stand out today on social media, you look like this. Nobody has a colored grill, nobody has rainbow hair, not many people that are 17 are tattooing their face, um, but it's a way to stand out, and it worked. I mean, this guy posting on social media, calling out other rappers, stands out, and so he blew up. He made some bad ethical and life decisions, <laughs> but beyond that, he really did well in terms of selling his actual music, which is not particularly that good in my opinion, and I like rap music. <laughs> Another guy, Devin's favorite, uh, he's a smart guy, Definitely knows his marketing, wrote a great book, a lot of good direct marketing stuff. If you all wanna pick it up, not a bad choice, $100 million offers. <clears throat> He's not doing videos in a dress like me. Uh, <laughs> his viewership, I think, would tank a lot. But when this guy is sitting here spouting off you know, good marketing advice, good business advice, but he looks like a lumberjack, and a lot of times he has his like, nose strip on, because I guarantee you he's seen that those videos get a lot more views than if he is. He's been clean shaven here and there. Those videos are not the ones you find if you just search them on social media, because these ones blow up. These guys are good at standing out on social media, and I think that's what you have to do. So this is a Dollar Shave Club. They ended up selling for a billion dollars to Unilever uh, four years after this ad went out. So this ad has 28 million views. Um, these guys and the guys behind them, I think it's the Harmon Brothers, very good at creating you know, uh, video creative. I'm not saying you have to go all the way there, but they created this sort of comedy sketch kind of video for a razor blade company, that the razor blades are probably the same as everyone else, despite what they say, uh, but this ad stood out, very different than what everyone else had, so this thing works. This is a snow teeth whitening, uh, teeth whitening brand that has done very well. Pretty much all of their ads that do well have uh, some influencer people, usually, sometimes athletes or celebrities, whoever they're using, always have this glowing thing in their mouth, standing out. So it's rather than just somebody with a great smile saying, this thing whitened my teeth, they have this blue glowing thing sticking in their mouth because this is gonna stand out when you're scrolling on social media. Other people, I'm sure, are probably ripping it off now and stuff, but they were some of the first ones to really push that. And so that thing is gonna stand out in your ads. Uh, and this is, for example, I pulled Oral B. Look at the two different ads. It's like one looks super boring. Um, in terms of click-through rate and everything else like that, this one's absolutely, absolutely gonna dominate. That one's gonna do probably mediocre, but they're building a big brand, so. <clears throat> Ours, somebody was asking, maybe it was Mike the other day. Yeah, Mike was like, how do you get great creative? I need to get some you know, fancy videographers and whatever. This is 100% stock photography. I believe this is our ad that um, we've sent the most money to in the last seven days. Uh, and this literally just a headline. We've tested a lot of stuff, so it's not like we just came out of this out of nowhere, but has a picture on the left of some moldy coffee person on the right holding their stomach. Regardless, whether this would work for you or not, it's something to try, um, but it's not boring. It stands out. It's not gonna like your normal kind of Facebook post. 
You used to probably not even be able to get away with this on Facebook, but Facebook got a hell of a lot more lenient over the past few years. Uh, so this kind of thing works, it's great. And then this is our, I think, probably second highest traffic ad. I don't have the video in here, it doesn't really matter. It's just pouring this kind of coffee drink. This is a stock video also. I don't think we didn't shoot this ourselves. So this is another one that's working extremely well, it just stands out. Close up video of food, you know, sort of makes sort of taps into that primal sort of hunger. <laughs> I like seeing food that tastes good and stuff. Um, it may not be helping people with you know, weight loss stuff, but uh, either way, there's a stock video. You got a question? Yeah. Yeah, I have a question. Do you have the, the same person that does your ads uh, takes care of the media of the ads? Yeah, so somebody, yeah, good question. Yeah, so somebody asked that. So um, <clears throat> our only job for the ads is, I mean, this, this headline, by the way, I wrote this headline. We've never been able to beat this. This was in the first, like, beginning of 2019. I wrote a bunch of ads and stuff. This headline, because this headline is another part of standing out. And so other than that, that's stayed the same. Um, we, our only job is to send him raw content, meaning like if we do a product photo shoot, we send him those nice videos and photos and stuff. Uh, if we have customers that we get testimonials from, we send him those, everything else he does. Because he needs to be able to iterate so fast, because we're spending a good amount of money um, on Facebook ads, so he needs to be able to iterate so fast that to me, in my opinion, um, nobody in here owns a Facebook ad agency, right? Okay, I hope not. Uh, is that if they're kind of telling you like, oh yeah, you know, you need to create these like finished sort of ads for us, finished little videos, finished little things, I probably wouldn't use them. Because if they're, they're constantly gonna be blaming you because you're not giving them stuff fast enough, they should be creating all that stuff themselves. Uh, because they need to move so fast, create so many different options, because it's so cheap to test these things, that that should be their job. So that is his job. So he'll create all these variations. I never gave him anything that looked anything like this. Um, I had a couple ads at the beginning, but those are not the ones that ended up winning later on other than the text part. Um, this video, we found early on, because one of our early ads that was working really well was the same copy and stuff that I had written, but then it was like just a close-up picture of a piece of chocolate cake getting cut. And so that gave us ideas. The Dalgona coffee thing exploded on TikTok. These close-up little coffee videos of this delicious looking coffee getting made, something similar to this. That blew up, so that gave us an idea. Hey, we should do these close-up videos of like little tasty looking coffee drinks. Um, so that was it, and he kind of ran with it. And he's tested probably hundreds of variations of that kind of thing, but he does all that stuff himself. And I think that's how it should be, because they need to move fast. And it's kind of like, with these agencies, like the more you can put the responsibility on them, I think the better. Because if they're constantly pointing fingers, of like, oh, you didn't give me what I need, um, I think that's not a good position to be in. Because it's never really clear. Uh, but it's like, if it's like 90% on them and you gave them the 10%, and then it's kind of like, hey, they're either doing good or not. So <clears throat> that was a very long-winded answer to your question. <laughs> uh, so I think the overall rule of this is don't be boring. My number one rule of advertising. This is my number one feedback. And I've given it to feedback internally in the companies. Every person we've ever hired to do any social media stuff, this is me complaining to Callie, complaining to Mike, and then maybe sometimes I'll eventually tell them. Um, but this is the thing where people always get wrong. It's like they create these ads, they're like, it doesn't work, but it looks like some boring corporate thing. I'm like, that's why it doesn't work. I was like, you don't need to do that. We don't own a you know, billion dollar company where we have to check with like 17 layers of like legal um, people to, to approve anything. As long as it's good, it's like you're not, not um, breaking any rules, uh, you're just doing something that stands out, then it's fine. If you were selling a weight loss supplement, and you're doing like a before and after, I'd be a hell of a lot more careful. I'd look through Facebook ad policies, possibly talk with an attorney, but as long as you're not jumping into something that's like that extreme, then anything else that just stands out, kind of shocks people is probably fine. Um, so number one rule of advertising, don't be boring because of that contrast principle. <clears throat>